The sonic kayak is a musical and scientific instrument for investigating nature. Kayaks rigged with underwater sensors generate live music from the marine world, providing the paddler with an extra dimension of sensors to explore the underwater climate while also gathering environmental data. So this is a sonic kayak system and you'll see there's a box that fits on pretty much any kayak. Um, all the hardware and the software is open source um, and I'll just talk you through what's actually in this. So we have lots of different um, sensors. Off the back we have this hydrophone which just dangles off the kayak like this with a float to hold it in place. We also have a new air quality sensor here, it's inside the box, um, air goes in one nostril and out the other and that senses particulate pollution. Um, over here we have a turbidity sensor which just dangles off the side of the kayak in the water um, and on that as well we have a temperature sensor which is here um, which gets held um, like this so that it's at a fixed depth underwater. Um, the other bits and pieces we have a speaker and um, this is a Bluetooth waterproof speaker. Uh, it can sit anywhere on the kayak but we tend to keep it just at the back here um, and I think that's everything. So all the sensors are logging environmental data pretty much all the time um, and two things are happening with that. Firstly it's being all turned into sound and sonified to the person who's paddling so they can hear the underwater environment change as they paddle around. The other thing that's happening is that all that data is getting stored on a USB stick on the kayak together with the GPS um, and the time and the date and that means that we can make really fine scale maps of all these different environmental variables just by paddling around. To test the new systems, we took three sonic kayaks out around Falmouth Harbour, covering industrial docks, eelgrass beds, estuarine areas, and places where people live on houseboats. The sonifications were designed by Kath Matthews and we used an online survey to pick which sonifications people found the easiest to interpret. The data is stored on a USB stick so when you get back from a paddle it can be used to make maps of the marine environment. <laughs> 